Welcome back to the channel guys, Chesaway here, and I'm back with another one. These are the three reasons why Marvel's Spider-Man 2 might be the biggest game of the year. Number one, it's made by people who love the source material. That ingredient alone is a recipe for success. I mean, if you look at the level of care Insomnia games have put into crafting the first game and even Miles' standalone adventure, it was unbelievable. If something is created by fans, for fans, there is no way it can fail. Number two, the story is so engaging and captivating, it managed to deliver a fresh take on a character that has been around for years. Insomniac was able to draw inspiration from multiple comic book storylines involving our favorite webhead but molded into something brand new. The story feels unique and different and pulls you in from that famous first swing. The introduction of Venom in the second game is a clear indication that Insomniac is not playing around. The game will definitely be darker, something similar to what happened in The Last of Us Part 2. I'm definitely interested in seeing a darker version of Peter Parker. Number three, the graphics. I mean, come on guys, the graphics are absolutely breathtaking. It absolutely looks gorgeous. It looks like a next gen video game. And that's what everybody has been waiting for. Everybody has been waiting to have a truly next gen experience. If you compare the visuals, to that of the PS4, there is a massive gulf, guys, and that's what everybody wanted. Everybody, when the PS5 came out, everybody was waiting to actually see what it can do and manage to achieve. And this is definitely it, guys. Sony has stated that the PS5 will be pushed to its absolute limit. Graphics aside, guys, Insomniac has also hinted at a few new gameplay mechanics. I mean, even if you look at the web swinging traversal, it's gonna make swinging around New York that much more amazing. And I mean, open world, guys, I absolutely love open world games. And I really hope that they flush out New York more and give us a better feel of how the Big Apple is. Guys, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. I mean, I. When I think about that day when I finally get to play this game, which is on the 20th of October, I absolutely get goosebumps. This is... They managed to take Spider-Man and make it its own separate entity from all the other things. I mean, if you look at the MCU movies or even animated movies, it... It doesn't link to anything. I mean, the only thing that links to those stories are basically the suits that they have incorporated in. And I absolutely love the comic book Craven's Last Hunt. And they managed to flush the story out and make it a video game. I mean, as a fan of Spider-Man, that is absolutely insane, guys. These are the three components, guys, that, that make this game the biggest game of the year. Catch you on the next one.